compounds? Aldehydes and ketones are simple compounds that contain a carbonyl group. An aldehyde is a compound containing a functional group with the structure CHO, consisting of a carbonyl center with a carbon atom also bonded to hydrogen and to an R group, which is any generic alkyl or side chain. Ketone is a functional group with the structure RC double bond O of R, where R1 and R2 can be a variety of carbon containing substituents. The carbonyl samples used in the entire experiment were acetone, formaldehyde, and benzaldehyde. Okay, so the first experiment that we're gonna have would be the oxidation by permanganate. For oxidation by permanganate, we prepared 3 4 ml of diluted potassium permanganate in a specifically clean and dry test tube. Using the 3 carbonyl samples prepared, we placed 4 drops of acetone, 4 drops of formaldehyde, and 4 drops of benzaldehyde to the 3 test tubes containing potassium permanganate. We agitated each sample thoroughly for 1 minute. Potassium permanganate is a powerful oxidizing agent and has many uses in organic chemistry. With the question, what were the reactions with aldehydes? Well, we know that aldehydes are CHO, are readily oxidized to carboxylic acids. And as great efforts are taken to maintain neutral pH, potassium permanganate oxidations tend to occur under basic conditions. Now, let's ask and show Sir Lex of the result of our oxidation by permanganate. Formation of precipitate. Nice. Now we will go to the silver mirror test. For this experiment, we prepared 2.5 ml of tolerance reagent into another 3 clean and dry test tubes, which we placed 2 drops of acetone, 2 drops of formaldehyde to the second test tube, and another 2 drops of benzaldehyde to our third test tube containing the tolerance reagent. After that, we heated the test tubes containing the mixed samples in a water bath with constant agitation from time to time. Oh, don't mind the other three test tubes. Those other three are actually the samples for the Benedict's test, which we'll be showing you later in this video. Silver mirror test is used to distinguish aldehydes and ketones. Aldehydes give positive silver mirror test, while ketones do not give this test. In this test, Talent reagent was used as an ammoniacal silver nitrate solution. It acts as a mild oxidizing agent and oxidizes aldehyde to acetate ion. Silver ion is reduced to metallic silver. Wow. For our third experiment, we performed the iodoform test. In this test, we prepared 1 ml each of our carbonyl samples into 3 test tubes with 2 ml of water each. Next, we added 5 ml of iodine solution and 10% of sodium hydroxide. We agitated each sample expecting yellow precipitate to form. However, there was an error that made it impossible to occur which we will be discussing with you later in this video. The iodoform test indicates the presence of an aldehyde or ketone in which one of the groups directly attached to the carbonyl carbon is a methyl group. Formation of a yellow precipitate therefore indicates the presence of a methyl group directly attached to the carbonyl. Lastly, for Benedict's test. 4 ml of the Benedict solution was placed to 3 test tubes together with 4 drops of our carbonyl samples which were acetone, formaldehyde, and benzaldehyde. After putting them together, we heated the test tubes in a water bath for 10 minutes until we red precipitate was expected to form. However, though unluckily, like iodoform test, the expected red precipitate to form didn't occur, making this experiment an error. Benedict's test is a simple chemistry test used to detect reducing sugars. Reducing sugars are carbohydrates having free aldehyde or ketone functional group and its molecular structure.
oxidation by permanganate. We use the chemical potassium permanganate and the carbonyl sample. These are benzaldehyde, acetone, and formalin. So for the next experiment, which is the Benedict test, we use the Benedict solution and same with the methylmanganese carbonyl sample. Next test, the silver mirror test, we use Tolerance for agents and as well as the carbon compound or sample. Lastly, the uniform test. We use the carbonyl sample and iodine solution in potassium iodide. And then the lastly, 10% of sodium hydroxide. Well, the answer is yes. All the products are successful. There was an error during the IUDU form test. There was no yellow precipitate due to its high concentration of sodium hydroxide. Each reagent has its own properties. Um, in which it gives a variety of results. For example, Helen's reagent when mixed with formalin, um, the color became silver. So you don't care about the money? Well, yes, it's true. And I'm so blessed to be fulfilling my dream.